All right, hello everyone. I am Crota, and I'm also eating lunch right now, so I'll probably mute my microphone. I'm doing a draft. Hey, look, draft. Um, Intrepid Conjurer can be fairly, fairly strong when this becomes Valorous, summon an Intrepid Conjurer, so he just keeps on making more and more of himself. Um, very, very useful there. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if I can actually use this particular troop. Howling Plains Runner is also very useful as well. Trying to get Valorous. I can try to go... Um, I can try to go... Diamond Wild or Diamond Ruby. Um, would probably be both fairly successful. Ruby having access to the gem um, in order to get some Valors as well. Or I may just not be going the Intrepid Conjurer route at all, depending on what I what I draft into. I finished my last draft 1 and 2. I had a little bit of a sore loss um, as well. Um, hmm. Storm Riders, good. Wild's favor. Battle preparations. Uh, battle preparations. I like battle preparations as well. Um, Wild favor might actually be able to wheel back to me. Mm. Not that much diamond in here to go for. Storm Rider. I don't know. There, there's, there's so many routes to go here. Do I go Storm Rider? I might go Storm Rider just to double down on Diamond, show, and try to dry up Diamond? I don't know. Flame Guard and Flame Throne Archer are both incredibly, incredibly strong. Spirit Bound Vicar, um, not so much. Uh, Boisterous Ballad, Explosive Interlude, Zap. Even the Awakened Herald might might wield me. I think I'll go with the Flame Guard. I think I'm going to go for a little bit of a faster deck this time around. Um, not having early early drops really. It really put a damper on my style, and we'll, we'll see if um, this works out better. Um, I can, I, I, you know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll go. No, no one uses that particular champion anymore. Hmm. Hmm. Let Let's try to go diamond. Diamond Ruby Ardent, right? Get some arena regulars to poke down. Change the champion. Yeah, we can we can we can go for that. Do I want the Blitz or the Vanquish? I'll go with the Vanquish for the removal. Blitz. Blitz is a combat trick. Vanquish. Well, yeah. Both are very, really both are really strong. No, no question about it. Both are incredibly strong. Both are incredibly good. We'll see how all of this does unfold. Storm Rider.
Hmm. Ooh, the dream guide might actually be good here. Uh, sp well, especially since I do have an intrepid conjurer. If I can get some stalagmages, which might actually come to me. Yeah, dream guide. Dream guide could be useful here. I'll put target troop f uh, with cost one from your crypt into play. It gets flight. Getting an intrepid conjurer back. Even the Hakuna... Uh, the Wakuna uh, one sockets become really useful because you can put in a valor in them. Um, it becomes a 2 2 flyer and generates you a valor. Um, very, very useful there. Uh, I will go for. I will go for a blind side. Um, blind side being the stronger card here. Ardent Courage will probably wheel. Um, Ashwood Mistral is, is useful ish. But yeah, I think I'll go with the blind side here. I think I'll take the alarm matic mm, Okay, so that ended up wheeling. I'll, I can take a rock slider here. Um, this actually becomes fairly useful with the number of charges I'm going to be generating. Not too far off. If it can become a, if it's a three four with crush consistently. I, I, I wish it was until the, until the start of your turn, and so the, not this this turn. Galliant duelist, sure, why not? It's. I don't know. I'm not liking. I'm not really liking this diamond ruby, action going on. Uh, Boisterous Ballad or Flame Throne Archer? Oh, I didn't expect both of them to be here. I think the Archer is better. Ba ballad had, like... Archer is a little bit more consistent. Ballad is much more. It, well, it can it can do a lot more. Uh, do I want to go the Furious Blitzer? No, I'll go the Razor Edge Duelist. Yeah, the Blitzer is only good if you have a lot of two drops. And and Blitzers, Blitzers. Wow, no one's drafting Ruby. Okay, I'll take a blitz. That's a very big maybe. I, I'm, I'm not actually liking the alarm matic all that much right now, which makes Boisterous Ballad that much better, but I didn't grab it. Oh, wow. I got three of the same card. Hope on the horizon.
At the end of your turn, void up to one target troop you control. Revert that troop. At the end of each opposing champion's turn, put each troop voided by this into play. Um, yeah, so if I somehow get Hope on the Horizon with my Flame Throne Archer, or anything else that has a deploy or a one shot, that would be very useful. When you gain a charge, this deals one damage to each opponent. I need some more removal. The Wakuno Lookout has the wheel. I'm going to go for another archer and, and really hope that the Wakuno Lookout wheels. This is the third pick. Yeah. Ayo Tochi Calvary, feed the flames. Oh, such a good pack, and some coins. All right. Um. No, that was a that was like a perfect pack. have five drops troops that are two drop or less. Still don't have any real bombs though. Five drop for a three three flyer. Maybe it has swift strike. enough ruby in this pack how come it couldn't be like spread out seriously
really like the True Heart Scrimmers that much. Boisterous Ballad Wield. I was hoping to get another arena regular, but did not get it. Wakuna Lookout. Thank you. That's really what I was looking for. I was hoping to get more of these, like maybe two. So I have an Interpret Conjurer, a Wakuna Lookout, a Boisterous Ballad, you know, one drop to go into my twos, Flame Guard, Arena Regular, Ayotochi Calvary. Um, that's some really strong, uh, just strong ways to go about that. Uh, do I go with the coins in this case? I think I do. Or do I want the Ardent Courage that gives all of my troops plus one plus one? Oh, how's a Razor Edge Duelist not in my... Oh, I need to get rid of, uh... Wow, do I... Re this, is this really 20 cards? It, it seems like... One, four, seven, ten. Oh, yeah, that is 20 cards. <laughs> 21 cards, wow. I can add four more cards to the deck. Gain Ground is an awesome card if you only have, if that is the only card in your hand, and then it is an amazing card. See, I don't, I don't, this, this deck doesn't use any of the, any of the good, good cards in, in sets. All right. I have to take a Dark Heart. Hilltop Monastery would be good. Battlesmith, uh, Field Ironsmith would be good. Taken Wing would be good. Not taking a Dark Heart, Dark Heart would be idiotic. Oh, the Ruby's Favor didn't go around. Oh. Yay, kind of won my draft. If I can if I can sell that for 900 or 950 plat, it will help get me back up to where I want to be. Trying to go trying to go infinite in in hexes is quite difficult actually. Well, you know what? I'm not even playing full time. If there are if there are ever full time hex players, that would be that would be a sight to see. Hex is such a great game. It, it really is. Ardent Officer? Rock Slider actually slides out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, so I have 14 troops right now. What would I rather have? The Ashwood Firebrand or the Adamantian Warsmith?
Do I throw in the Strider Scout? I think I, I throw in a Crackling Magma to... Uh, since this is draft, I can sideboard or I can reserve it uh, if I'm going up against Dreadling, Dreadlings. And if I am going up against Dreadlings, being able to wipe out their Dreadlings is extremely, extremely good. Right. Having a Crackling Magma to, to stop that. Any day of the week, I would take the Rocket Rider over the Adamantian Calvary. Fourth, it's a speed, rage two, yeah. That is already, already looking fairly strong. Intrepid Conjurer, turn one, turn two, Flame Guard, turn three, Ardent Officer. That'd be a very, very nasty one, two, three. Mm. This is my fifth pick of this pack. Do I take an Ashwood Transmuter or do I take the Adamantian War Priest? Storm Rider actually seems a bit weak now. Yeah, the this is my pack and the hilltop monastery is gone. Uh, I don't think anyone is going to question my pick of a dark heart over a hilltop monastery. Do I take another Crackling Magma, or do I take a Fireball? I think I take the Fireball in this case. I can actually go triple... I Triple Ruby is not that hard. Dream Guide is the only double diamond card that I have in this. In this. Right, yeah.
I still need to take out one card. What do I take out? An Ashwood Transmuter? Yeah. It does the least amount of stuff. I'm stealing this away from people. All of them are bad. Warband Ruffian over... No, no, no. The I do need some Valor generation. sales. Alright. Nine seven? Yeah, that sounds about right. You know, nine eight? Or ten seven? Yeah, because one of the coins is there. I could go hope on the horizon and and constantly get guys back as well. There's so much good stuff in this. This is obviously Valor. All right. I, I think this works. I, I think this, I think this works. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for round one.